Hi guys, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be trying out the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. So for those of you who don't know, the original Photo Focus Foundation by Wet n Wild is probably my favorite foundation ever. So when I saw that they came out with a dewy one, I was really excited to try it out, very curious about it. Typically my skin is combo, but lately I have been more on the dry side, a little bit dehydrated. So I've also been more into the more dewy look versus matte. Although I don't think the original one was super matte on me. Going right into it, just so you guys can see, Checking out the price of it, it ranges from $649, $499, $472, $279. Basically, it is a very, very affordable foundation that I believe performs so beautifully. Typically, I do wear it in the color Soft Beige. I'm going to show you. This is the original one. This is the Dewy. What I do like is that it does describe the different undertones and things like that. So I have soft beige. It says light, medium, warm, which is my skin tone. Do the bottles side by side. Let's see if they look the same in the bottles and then we'll do a comparison. It kind of looks like the dewy version actually is a little bit warmer or is it just me? I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing things. One thing that I do know a lot of people were not crazy about with the original one was the smell. A lot of people said that it smelled like paint. And I remember when I first used it, I was like, "Ooh, that's a little strong. And it is. But honestly, I think I kind of just got used to it. And I love the performance so much that I kind of look past that. So let's see if the dewy one smells like that as well. And it does not. Okay, so I'm going to swatch... Let's do the dewy. Okay. I'll swatch the original one right next to that. Hmm. So I feel like the dewy one actually is a little bit warmer. So it wasn't just in the bottle, which is fine because I do have a warm skin tone. This is the dewy. This is the original. Yeah, no, I feel like the original one kind of looks a little bit more pinky toned. Interesting. Okay. I actually am going to be trying it out without any primer and I will not be setting it. That's typically how I used to do my first impression reviews. So I'm going to stick with that just because I do want to see how it performs completely on its own. I know some people don't really love that way because they feel like you always wear a primer and things like that. But honestly, there have been many times where I don't and I kind of just like throw on the original foundation and just wear it like that. So I want to see what it's like on its own. Another thing that I like about the original version is that because I did see how it performs on its own, I do see how it works with different primers and I see how the primers work with it. I don't know about you, but there are some foundations that doesn't really matter what primer I use. It's going to work a certain way. I feel like this one, you could almost like transform it depending on how you set it and how you prime it. So again, I want to try out the dewy version completely on its own. So I was going to do one side with a beauty sponge, the other side with a brush, but I don't know where my beauty sponge is. So we are just going to go in with a brush. Okay. See this little guy? Stay down right there. Stay down. As you can see, I have these lovely imperfections on my face. It's so wonderful to look at. Oh, I didn't even tell you, this does come with, oh, you know, I never even noticed. Interesting. I was going to say that it comes with one fluid ounce, but it does not. This one comes with 0.95 fluid ounces, which is 28 milliliters, so it's just under a full ounce. The original one comes in 30 milliliters, a typical amount for a foundation, so it's a little bit less. With the original Photo Focus Foundation, I did feel like I absolutely could build it up and get that full coverage look. So let's see how well the dewy version covers these beauties. Let me just put my hair behind my ears, and you guys get to see 
these little flyaways in action. So normally I would actually just go ahead and apply it right on my face and blend it out. So that's what I'm going to do. Because this is my personal one, my face is clean. I have no problem doing that. I actually have used the original one for events and obviously I do not do that. I put it on a palette and then pick up the product from the palette. So, because this is mine, my skin is clean, we are just going to dab it all over and see how it works. I'm just going to take my Sigma F80 flat kabuki brush and buff that out. So that covered it pretty well. I actually do like that it's slightly, based off of the swatch, it's slightly warmer. We definitely did take care of that scent situation. I don't know how my skin is going to react with that because I do have sensitive skin. And although the smell of the original one was not the nicest smelling one, it actually did not irritate my skin, believe it or not. So I'm curious if they added any perfume or anything like that. I really hope it does not break me out because I don't need any more breakouts. No, thank you. Although this does have a little bit of fragrance in it, it's not to the point where it's making me feel sick because I do not like highly fragranced foundations. And I, I feel like it's not gonna linger because it's, it's not bothering me. So hopefully it's okay. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that? Because Look at that. Obviously you can still see my imperfections with my skin tone and my skin type. Any type of blemish does tend to stay for a long time and leave a dark mark. It's very annoying actually, but it covered it pretty well. And that was one light coat. I know it may seem like I put a lot on, but it really was a light coat. I just put a couple dabs all over. So, so far I really, really am liking this. Let's put a second layer on. I feel like that matches my skin perfectly. Are you kidding me? This is gorgeous. So far, absolutely love it. Obviously, you can still see that and that's honestly because it's dark and raised it's there it wants to come out and play but besides this guy it's beautiful it's so beautiful i love that although it's dewy it's not wet looking because i've seen and tried a few foundations that are supposed to be luminous and dewy and it really honestly just looks like an oily mess this is not happening with this i want to see how it wears so i will try my best to do check-ins and come back at the end of the day and let you know how I feel. This honestly has like a very natural glow to it. It does not look oily. It doesn't look wet. It feels really nice on the skin. It feels very light on the skin. I feel like I got really good coverage and that was two layers. It's not sinking into my fine lines or anything like that. One of the reasons why I love the original one so much is because I do believe that how they do market it, the photo focus and there's no flashback or anything like that. In my opinion, totally true. I know with this lighting, it's hard to tell because it sometimes if you're, appears very bright, but I'm telling you with flash photography, there is no flashback with the original one. So I'm going to take a quick picture and see how it works. It looks a little bit reflective in the camera, in the picture, but not to the point where I look oily. I wanna do the rest of my makeup and I will check in with you. So I went and did the rest of my makeup. As I was applying it, I do definitely see more of that like luminous type of finish that this foundation has. But again, so far it doesn't look like oily or anything like that, it doesn't look shiny. I definitely saw a little bit of that like reflection and that glow when I wore the original one with my combination skin, not like how it's been more dry recently, 
when it's normally combination, it would always start out a little bit more matte looking, not matte, but on the matte side. And then throughout the day, it would appear a little bit more reflective, like a little bit more oily. That's just typically how foundation wears on my skin. So now my skin has been more on the dry side and I want to see how this wears. I'm hoping that it doesn't get too luminous by the end of the day, but I don't think it will. So I I just noticed that the lighting looks a little funky. So can you guys see the blinds on my face? Hold on. So I'm really hoping that wasn't across my face the whole time. So hopefully we fix that situation. But I'm going to leave you with these thoughts as my true first impressions. I did think that the original one was always spot on with my color, my skin tone. But I do see a slight, ever so slight difference in warmth with the color. And I actually feel like the dewy one is a little bit more spot on. And now again, this is based off of just my color. I have it in soft beige. I do think that they are obviously close enough that you can just go off of your original color if you did use the original Photo Focus Foundation. For me, for this color, I did feel like it was slightly more golden tone, but not yellow. So that's good. My other makeup sat really nicely on top of it. I also did use the Jeffree Star concealer, which I personally know I don't have to set it just be, again, because I want to see it perform truly completely on its own. So I didn't want to set any part of my face. I'm going to do a quick little flash photography check with the rest of my makeup and we shall see. But looking at the picture, I think it looks beautiful. There's no flashback and you can see the rest of my makeup, which is really nice because sometimes I feel like with, with flash photography, you tend to lose like the blush and the contour and all of that. So, so far based off of that, it looked good. Based off of what I see, it looks good. It feels great. It's lightweight. It's affordable. It's pretty medium to full coverage. I will try my best to do a check-in just in case. It is 12.53 now, and hopefully I can come back at the end of the day and let you guys know. It is 4.30. We're gonna go to dinner, an early dinner, because that's what happens when you have children and you wanna be considerate of other people. But so far, I think the makeup is holding up nicely. My battery's about to die, of course. Uh, it is a little reflective. I have not touched it up. I feel like I could like powder it a little bit or just kind of like refresh it and we'll be good. But for a dewy luminous foundation, I think it's holding up pretty nicely. And again, this is with no primer and no setting. T, what do you think of my makeup? He approves. Okay. We'll see how it holds up. Okay, so I managed to get a little check-in and a closing, I guess. It is the end of the night. It's still pretty early, but it's 6.45. I just had dinner, my lipstick's off, and I figured I have some time, so let me do a final check-in. As of now, I really, really do still like the foundation as i said in the check-in i feel like i definitely could have like touched up a little bit and things like that just use a little bit of powder or just like blotted especially around like my smile lines i was laughing a ton today and all of that good stuff i know it's nighttime and i'm working with limited lighting so it's hard to tell but i feel like it held up pretty pretty nicely and again that's completely on its own so i feel like if there were other factors if i used like a really good setting spray or a long lasting primer i feel like it would have really held up better not that it didn't hold up well on its own now but i think it could have performed better but for it performing on its own right now i feel like things are looking good definitely more reflective now than i started out with but that tends to happen with me and especially with dewy foundations i was kind of like a little worried but it's not bad i really really like it i feel like the formula is great the coverage is awesome the price point is like you can't beat it and 
I think I found my new favorite foundation, honestly. So depending on how dewy I want to look, I think it's going to be between this one and the original one that will be my go-to. But yeah, so that does it for this first impressions review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you like this format. If you do, let me know. If you don't, also let me know. And let me know what other products you'd like me to try out next. I hope that you would subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to stay happy and I will see you guys in my next video.